Hello everybody, thank you for being here. My name is Tyler Ellison and I am very excited because I'm going to be delivering to you all tonight a Ryo transmission. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the altered state and bring him through. Enjoy. All right, and we thank you all so much for the unique co-creation of this interaction. As always, it is our civilization's highest joy, passion, excitement to be able to speak to each and every single one of you through the channel. In this evening's transmission, we shall be describing to you the idea of like attracts like and the idea that you have in your physical sciences. That is, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction and how these two ideas work together hand in hand in relationship to the processes that you utilize of manifestation and how your manifestation practices and processes and how you create your experience of physical reality entangle with these ideas so you can become more finely aware of your frequency and some of the effects that your frequency can have in the physical reality experience. Now understand that Whatever frequency state you are utilizing, whatever vibrational state of being you choose to be in, as a side effect, will align you with external reality experiences that are an energy match for your energy state. In other words, when you maintain a positive energy state with no expectation of what needs to occur, what needs to happen from that energy state, you align with external experiences that reflect that positive energy back to you. Positive energy in, positive effect out. Very simple. Now understand that as many of you choose to maintain that positive state and as many of you experience positive reflections as a side effect of that state, we understand many of you will experience in your lives certain negative reflections playing out. Be this in your collective be this in yourselves. And while this may look somewhat conflicting, while to some it may seem as if somehow the negative energies, the negative realities are invalidating the positive manifestation, understand they're actually complementary. For as we have shared in the beginning, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So understand that when you choose to be in these positive states of being, in addition to attracting for yourself, manifesting for yourself realities that are an equal positive match for your energy state, as a side effect of that state, you will also become aware of realities that are an equal energy match for your positive state, but are based in the opposite polarity. So recognize this has to do with how your perception expands as you raise your frequency. As you raise your frequency, it's as if you are assuming a higher and higher and higher vantage point, a bigger and bigger, bigger point of view, allowing for you to clearly see more of what you prefer, more of what you don't, more of what is positive and more of what is negative. So as you maintain that positive frequency and as you act that positive frequency out, you attract more things to you, you experience more things in your reality that represent that positive state, and you also simultaneously become aware of realities that are of equal energy, but in the opposite polarity, based in the opposite polarity, based in negativity, based in what you do not prefer. Now remember, when you see these negative realities, when you see these negative manifestations, Remember, they have no negative effect upon you. They do not influence you in any negative way. They do not even have the ability to create negative effects within your reality experience. For it's almost as if these negative realities are offering you an invitation into their world, into their timeline, into their unique framework that is based in negativity. It's a neutral invitation 
through you becoming aware of these energies, you are being presented the access codes to their reality. In order to not choose the negative realities as your experience, all you have to do is maintain the positive state of being and continue to follow your joy and your passion and to say to those negative realities, no thank you. That's all. So recognize that when you follow your joy and your passion fully, you will oftentimes become more aware of things that are negative but they don't have the ability to do anything to you. They don't have the ability to limit you in a negative way, to control you in a negative way, or anything like this. They are simply presenting to you the idea of different options for exploration that are more energetically negative. Now understand, as you continue to say no thank you to these energy offers, to these energy invitations from the negative realities, eventually you will become so energetically dissimilar to them that you will have the experience of them moving further and further and further and further away from you. And you will experience more and more and more of the positive reality manifestations in your life, in your bubble. And these negative reflections over time will become so energetically distant from you that you will no longer perceive them at all in your life and in your collective. What is required here is your willingness to choose to be yourself, to act on your joy, and to say no thank you to the invitations that represent the embodying of negative frequencies. Now, we're not suggesting you deny negativity. We're not suggesting you push negative energy away. For one of the reasons you become aware of negative realities is so you can understand more about yourself. So when you see these negative realities, these negative manifestations, that's an opportunity to use your imagination to say to yourself, what is a positive, creative, exciting way that I can respond to this seemingly negative information that I have received? And creating a positive response to this negative information is the energetic equivalent of saying no thank you to its negative energy. You have chosen instead to match a positive frequency, which then, as you know, through like attracting like, creates a positive effect. And that continues to build and snowball and snowball and snowball. Eventually, your entire life will be filled with your passion, with your joy, and there will be no room for negative energy. There will be no room for negative experiences, for your entire parallel reality framework will be holistically based in what you prefer. And by definition, what you prefer is energetically different, unique, than that which you don't prefer. And allowing your entire life to be filled with your preference will make your entire life vibrationally incompatible with that which you don't prefer the negative energies. This is one of the reasons why you are experiencing so many collective stories right now that are based in negativity. This represents the equal yet opposite reaction to your collective ascension process. So as you choose to maintain these positive frequencies, collectively and individually, you become, as a side effect, more aware of the negativity that, in a sense, has always been there. It's not as if it's really new. You're simply allowing, again, for that bird's eye view to reveal to you things that were previously less perceivable. So, as you continue to say no thank you to the collective facets of negative information, and as you choose to respond positively in an empowered way to this information, you will then in a sense, disentangle from those energies. You will, in a sense, fully let go of your connection and your relationship to those negative versions of Earth. And they will continue to fall away and fall away and fall away and fall away until there's simply nothing of that ilk to let go of any longer. And that's the process you're all on right now. So even if things seem bumpy, even if you hear of negative stories, or you hear of negative phenomenon, or even experience directly negative phenomenon, 
Remember, you can always use it in a positive way, and that allows for you to weave through those different parallel reality versions of Earth in a way that's empowering for you, in a way that will generate for you a positive effect, and that will snowball and snowball and snowball. This also plays into the idea of personal manifestation processes. So to give you another example, recognize that many of you will say, I prefer to have a new relationship. I prefer to have a romantic relationship, or I prefer to have this or that, whatever it might be that you say you prefer to manifest. Many individuals will then get into the state of mind, will get into the state of being that represents that preferred reality, and they will then act as if that reality has already occurred. And this is all well and good. This is mechanically how you align to those parallel realities that represent your preference in relationship to what you prefer to experience. However, something we observe that occurs for many of you is that when you align with that reality that you prefer, again, as a side effect, there is the equal and opposite reaction. So anything within you that is in resistance to that preferred manifestation will then be brought to the surface so you can say no thank you to it and so you can let it go. However, many individuals will experience the idea of the resistances, of the things that seem to be in contradiction to the reality they prefer to experience, that they prefer to manifest. And when they then experience these resistances, they say, I must be doing something wrong. The manifestation must not be working. I must somehow be unworthy and am unable to experience my preferred manifestation. Otherwise, this resistance would not be here. And in the moment when someone says those things and chooses those energies, they, in and of a sense, nullify the energy state that represents the preferred reality. They reduce it. They bring it back to zero. And that then creates a prolonging effect in relationship to the manifestation process because they have invalidated their manifested state through judging the resistance that they observe as something that is wrong, something that shouldn't be there. So when you are manifesting a certain reality, be it financial, be it romantic, be it material, be it spiritual, Remember, when you embody that energy state that represents the preferred reality, as a side effect, it will bring to the surface any resistances that you have to that reality. Ultimately, this is done out of service to you so you can let those energies go, thus fully allowing the preferred reality to appear before you so you can experience it. Recognize that those preferred realities are doing everything they can to get to you. It's just the resistances that keep them invisible to your perception. But when you let go of the resistances through saying no thank you to them and responding to them in a positive way, you then allow for those positive realities, those preferred realities, to become more perceivable to you. Again, this is something that is done out of service. For understand, if you were to truly receive that manifestation, without having first released the resistances, your manifestation would actually be a blend of that which you prefer and that which you don't, which would, for many of you, not be a fulfilling experience and would not holistically represent who you are and your passion. So the higher self will help you see any resistances that you are carrying in your journey linearly speaking, to the preferred reality, so you can let go of those resistances. So you can then be a greater vibrational match for the highest form of that preferred manifestation. So remember, when resistance and negativity emerge in relationship to you following your passion and your joy, in relationship to you manifesting things that represent your passion, do not fret, do not judge the resistances, do not judge the negativity, stay in the positive state, use your imagination to respond to those resistances, to respond to those energies in a positive way, and it's like saying no thank you to them, thus allowing for you to shift through the parallel realities in a way that holistically represents your preference and your passion. 
one of the ways you can positively respond to these negative energies, to these resistances, is again, to let go of the underlying belief systems that create the resistances in the first place. That can be an empowered action. And all you have to do when you experience a resistance, when you experience negativity, is to ask yourself from the positive state of mind, from an open, neutral state of mind, what must I believe to be true in order to be experiencing this phenomenon in a negative way? And allow for yourself to receive that information. You don't have to dig for it. You don't have to leave the moment to find it. Stay neutral. Stay positive. Stay receptive. Stay open. And allow for your imagination to deliver to you that belief system, that idea. Once you've received it, cross-reference it against what you know to be fundamentally true about yourself that you exist that you are a being of passion and joy and unconditional love and that you have the ability to co-create any experience that represents your joy and your passion know these three things as fundamental truths and compare the negative belief systems the negative opinions against them you'll notice the negative opinions, the negative belief systems won't logically hold up against these fundamentals. And in that moment, the negative belief system will be instantaneously released. It will be dispersed. You'll put it down. And this is how you can let go of those resistances. This is how you can let go of those energies so you can more powerfully, more boldly move in the direction that represents your joy stay in the positive state and move through all the experiences that you create for yourself in a way that represents that positive state with no expectation of what needs to occur and you will find that your wildest dreams will be your life and we thank each and every single one of you for the unique co-creation of this interaction as always our civilization's unconditional love joy and appreciation to each of you sweet dreams and happy now all right everybody thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed that video that was a lot of fun have a beautiful rest of your evening and see you in february